I just want everyone to know that this video is part of a new playlist that I have created. This playlist is all of my most up-to-date methods for ranking with ChatGPT. Check out the playlist, guys. It'll be in the description. It's going to be very, very helpful for anyone that is just starting out or even if you're an expert on the topic. Now, let's get into today's video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at Tiny Home Hub, and I'm going to be showing you how to create pillar pages using ChatGPT and also using Perplexity. Now, I know I'm talking about a lot of different methods. Basically, I'm just giving you all the methods that I know to currently work. It's up to you to decide which one's best for you, what you want to do personally. Just test everything out in your niche and see. But what we're going to do is we're going to go on Search Console and do Most Recent Date. You can see we've now got 211 impressions here which is pretty good growth, so that's really, really nice. Now, I'm gonna click on pages and I'm gonna click by impressions. We have a couple of pages here that are interesting to me. We have understanding tiny house dimensions and all types of tiny house costs, and also tiny home legal. So there's actually three pages that we're interested in. The reason I'm interested in these specifically is because they're in my header, okay? so. This is all types of tiny home costs, okay? This is tiny home legal. And the other one was, it might not be here. It might be in one of these. Yeah, it's right here. Tiny house dimension. So it's still a pillar post. It's just a sub niche pillar post, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna show you each of these and you'll see that they're pretty much the same article. There is the, the header. And then there's this, which I'm probably going to remove because apparently Boxable is not uh, legit. And then another affiliate link, click clickable thing right here. And then there's the SVG of tiny house cost by size. And then there's a table. And then there's another SVG, another table, another SVG, another table. You can kind of get the idea. And then at the bottom, I have all of the different states of America. And this is not a pillar post. This is inside a pillar post, okay? So what I'm going to be talking about is, first of all, how to find these uh, keywords and basically how to create these kinds of posts, which are obviously ranking pretty well on a fresh domain website. These are all written by ChatGPT using perplexity to get the details first. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first method of doing this is manual keyword research. Basically what you do is you just do it by average monthly searches. So I just searched for tiny house and then I filtered it by average monthly searches or I'm trying to filter it by average monthly searches. And then you wanna basically find anything that could be a category, okay? So I, this is one right here, tiny house on wheels. This is a category on my website, for example. This is one way to do it, but there is definitely a better way. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to search for tiny house uh, without lows. And we're going to just randomly click on this one right here. This is one of the better websites. And what we want to do is we want to do slash sitemap.xml. And you can see that this is not a WordPress website. So we're just going to leave this and we're going to look for a WordPress website instead. I might just write WordPress because that might actually, no. Okay. Let's try write, writing tiny home instead uh, because tiny house doesn't seem to be working. Let's just try how much does a tiny home cost? You basically want to search around the niche until you find a website that you can take the categories of. Let's put, let's try powered by WordPress in um, speech marks. And then we should be able to find something that is, so these are all on WordPress, but again, I'm not really seeing anything particularly good here. So we'll keep trying. So how much does a tiny home cost in Washington? Utopian Villas, this could be one, let's have a look. So we'll do this again, sitemap.xml. Let's see if this has categories, does not have categories. Okay, so that again, this isn't useful. You really, really wanna be looking for, let's try a different state, California. Let's try Utopian Villas. Oh, maybe we just tried this, yeah, we did. 
row built prefab review free tiny homes this is looking good so we'll do oops yeah this looks like a good one site map .xml. okay that didn't work it just redirects okay that's kind of weird they obviously don't want people looking at their uh, sitemap. I'll just find one. I've shown you how to do it, and I'll just find one. Okay, so I just found the tiny life. Um, it took me a little bit of time, but I mean, it will take you a bit of time. And this is actually the one that I used in my uh, course, so I know that this is good. So we'll go to page, sitemap, and you can see here, these are their categories. Anything that doesn't have another slash is a category. So homesteading minimalism, um, tiny house plans, tiny houses general, what is the tiny house movement? These are all ones that I have also made on my website. You can see that most of the inspiration did come from this website and I could just tell that it was a well-made WordPress website. So what you can do is you can take this and you can take it into chat GPT and you can say, for example, um, give me all the good category pages from this sitemap. Just try your best to give me the overarching categories. Okay, so we've got about us, not useful. Homesteading, yes. Minimalism, yes. Tiny house plans, yes. Off-grid tiny house, yes. Tiny house basics. Tiny house builders, floor plans. Budget tiny houses, utilities. And then what we can say is, can you give me 20 more? And then you basically just choose whatever you think is good. Um, and it has like a really, really solid category. Okay. So design ideas and then... Also, I thought of some myself as well. So dimensions, um, like how big is a tiny home? What is a tiny house on wheels? I showed you how I found that in the first one. Tiny home checklist was something I made myself. Again, um, I just thought it would be a good idea, so I made it. Um, tiny house basics was from the method I just showed you. Okay, so that's how you find your pillar posts. Pillar, pillar posts are, or oh, sorry, pillar pages are uh, pages that you are trying to rank your website for for keywords like this tiny house size tiny house dimensions this is most recent date so you can see there is a decent amount of impressions here 30 impressions in one day for a fairly new website if i put this on three months you can see that we're starting to actually rank here which is really really nice so how did i actually create these pages so let's take dimensions as an example what I did was I actually used perplexity and that's why I'm putting everything into one playlist so that you can see all of the different ways that I'm doing stuff. So I would say something like, what are all the things someone needs to know about dimensions of a tiny home? And this will give you a good amount of information that we're gonna put into ChatGPT. We're going to be using three plugins here. So you can just install these plugins one by one. We've got graph constructor, mermaid chart, and diagram. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this information into chat GPT. I'm going to say, can you visualize as much of, let's get some more information actually. Um, is there anything else? What are the standard dimensions for a tiny home? How do I turn the time in the size of a tiny home I need? So let's get both of those as well. Uh, I just need a little bit more information basically. So can you visualize as much of this information as possible? That might be a table, might be a graph, pie chart, flow chart, um, lists, anything that can be used to break up walls of text. Please give me at least eight pieces of information as a visual. So we'll put this and then what are the legal considerate? Yeah, we need that for sure. So once this is done, we'll put all of this into it at once and we'll just press enter basically. 
Okay, this, this, this. And then we'll say, please ignore uh, footnotes. Okay. So what this is going to start doing is it's going to start working out how it can put this information into a visual format. So we'll use mermaid chart, et cetera, et cetera. While that's doing that, we're going to open up the playground. This is where I did most of my writing for Tiny Home Hub. Um, yeah, this is just where I did most of my writing. So what you can do is you can put this information here so that it has this information. Um, or you don't even have to do this, to be honest with you. Okay, so it's giving me this bar chart, but I want more. So please give me more visualizations. Okay, so now use mermaid flow chart or mermaid chart to give me this, which is super, super nice. So now what I'm going to say is, can you just list all the graphs in order with a short description of what each one does? Okay, so ChatGPT got sarcastic with me and it, it gave me all of the different types of graphs and what they represent. So I said, I mean, can you list the three graphs that you created for me? And it's now done that with a short description, okay? I would recommend saving these photos. So right click, save image as, and then using that. Um, but for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the article and then we can add that later. So, the playground now has the information from perplexity and also the visualiz visualizations. We're going to write, or I'm going to write the prompt for you live, and then I'll leave it in the description. So I'm going to say something like, using creativity and burstiness, please write a pillar page using this information. At the top, please summarize all of the information they the readers can expect to get from this post either in a list or a summary table not a table of contents um split the page into h2 and h3 headers Make sure to use lists and tables where possible. And please include the visualizations uh, in the article in the best place. Also include internal links using relative internal links and an ahref anchor text. For example, is my home page. Okay, so now we're gonna press submit and this will do all of that for us. Okay, so just out of interest while that's writing, I'm actually gonna use ChatGPT um, with Code Interpreter here. Uh, so yeah, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing uh, with the same prompt if I can get it. It's pretty much finished anyway. I want to see if this works uh, just as well in uh, ChatGPT, basically. So we'll press enter here and we'll see what happens. Okay, obviously saying pillar page here is not ideal, but we'll see how this actually goes. And while that's loading now, let's go and check this out. So we'll go to markdown to html.com and we'll put this in. And we should see a pretty comprehensive article, which you can see that is exactly what this is. And basically what I did personally at the bottom is I added a lot more content. So this is dimensions, so where's dimensions? You can see it's pretty much the same article if you actually look at these two. What I did on some of them though is I added all of this information here, which is all of the separate states in the United States, one by one, uh, talking about the legal points. I actually made these articles in pretty much the same way that I just showed you in this video. Okay, so comparing the two, I actually think that the ChatGPT UI here has done a better job. I prefer the layout, et cetera, et cetera. It has more lists and it has the same information on here. I actually just think it might be a little bit better which is super, super interesting. 
I wrote them like this with the playground, it's a bit cleaner, blah, blah, blah. But this content here actually looks better. But yeah, that's actually going to be the end of this video. I hope you are all you are all enjoying this series where I go through how to rank on Google, basically from step one. You can watch the entire playlist on my channel. It will help you a lot. This is how to write informative pillar posts that will be the main ranking for your website in the future. And yeah, it's already working for me on Tiny Home Hub. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.